week one of the college football slate and four of our local teams kicked off the season tonight. Now, I don't know about you, but trying to watch four games at once is not easy. I need some more TVs in the sports office, but let's take you through those four local schools. We'll start in Tuscaloosa, where Kaylin DeBoer leads the Alabama Crimson Tide out of the tunnel for the first time to Thunderstruck. Great song. Former Auburn quarterback T.J. Finley starting for Western Kentucky. He hands it off, but former Carver Wolverine Quay Russo is having none of it. Celebrating there. All right, offensively, second drive of the Tide. It's the other number four, Jalen Milrow, taking matters into his own hands. He finds a hole, and there's nothing but green grass in front of him. Saying hello to the cameras. Crimson Tide on the board in 2024. Now they get the ball back from a Keon Sab interception, and Milrow improvising like he does best. Scrambling to his left, finds Kendrick Law. He makes a man miss and is into the end zone. 14-0 Alabama. Now still in the first quarter, Milrow is going to air it out to a guy Alabama fans have been waiting to see. Five-star freshman Ryan Williams pull up on the scene in style. 84-yard touchdown pass to the 17-year-old Williams. 21-0 now. Now, we mentioned quarterback and receivers, but how about the running backs? You know, they had to get their shine, too. Jim Miller taking the handoff in the second quarter now. He's got lots of room, eventually tripped up, but not before breaking the plane. Touchdown, and his counterpart, Justice Haynes had to get in on the scoring party, too. Now, how do you beat Miller's 39-yard run? Well, you rip off an 85-yarder yourself. Woof! Alabama might have a new coach, but the dominant performances continue in T-Town. Tide go on to win 63 to nothing.